Hi to everyone, myself Dr. Tidhaman Jirao, working as assistant professor in the department of chemistry. Today I am going to discuss about introduction to column electrode and batteries. In this session I am going to cover these topics. Reference electrode, what is a reference electrode, uh, different types of reference electrodes and what is standard hydrogen electrode and what is caramel electrode and what is battery and what is uh, diacellar electrode. First, reference electrode. What is reference electrode? Reference electrode is the electrode which refers to those the electrode potential of any electrode can be measured. What is reference electrode? Reference electrode is the electrode which refers to this the electrode potential of any electrode can be measured. Reference electrode can access both anode or cathode depending upon the nature of the other electrode which is connected to it. Reference electrode access both anode as well as cathode depends upon the other electrode which is connected to the this electrode. This reference electrode is transferred into two types. One is primary reference electrode, primary reference electrode and second one is secondary reference electrode. What is primary electrode? What is primary reference electrode? The reference electrode whose potential is taken as zero are known as primary reference electrode. What is primary reference electrode? The potential of reference electrode is taken as zero. If the reference electrode potential is zero, then the reference electrode is called primary reference electrode. Example for primary reference electrode is standard hydrogen electrode, abbreviated as SHE. What is primary reference electrode? The electrode potential it is taken as zero, then it is called as primary reference electrode. Example is standard hydrogen electrode. What is secondary reference electrode? What is secondary reference electrode? The reference electrode whose potential is not zero but exactly known. What is secondary reference electrode? The potential uh, potential reference electrode is not zero but we know the exact value either may be some positive or negative values. And the electrode potential value depends upon the concentration of the electrolyte solution. The secondary reference electrode potential depends upon the electrolyte solution concentration. For example, saturated caramel electrode and silver electrodes comes under secondary reference electrodes. First, standard hydrogen electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode is a primary reference electrode. A standard hydrogen electrode is an electrode that is used for reference in half cells potential reactions. What is the use of standard hydrogen electrode? Standard hydrogen electrode? This is uh, acts as reference electrode, primary reference electrode means its potential value is zero. The value of the standard hydrogen electrode potential is zero. It is easy to measure different unknown electrode potential. What is the use of reference uh, uh, standard hydrogen electrode is? By using this reference, we can measure the other electrode potentials. It consists of platinum wire in inverted glass tube. See this diagram. This is the inverted U shape in this platinum wire is inserted. It is used to in it consists of platinum wire in an inverted glass tube. A glass tube inverted glass tube contain platinum wire. This one is a platinum wire. One end of platinum wire is coated with platinum block. Platinum block nothing but platinum dioxide. But this is the platinum wire. This end is connected with platinum block. One end of the platinum wire coated with platinum block. Platinum block nothing but platinum oxide, which can be used to for the absorption of hydrogen gas. What is the use of this platinum block? It, it absorbs the hydrogen gas. H2 gas is passed through the tube at one atmosphere. The one atmosphere hydrogen is passed through this inlet to this electrode. The electrode is immersed in one molar H plus ions at 25 degrees. This total setup immersed in one molar HCl concentration. This is electrolyte. The electrode potential is zero at all temperatures. The standard hydrogen uh, electrode potential always zero at all temperatures. The cell representation of single hydrogen electrode. This is the cell representation for single hydrogen electrode. If the potential of the coupled electrode is greater than zero, then the standard hydrogen electrode acts as anode. The electrode reaction can be written as what happens? If the potential of the coupled electrode is greater than zero, already we know the standard hydrogen electrode potential is zero. If we connect other electrode, 
which potential is greater than zero means hydrogen electrode reduction potential is less compared with the connected reduction potential so hydrogen acts as a anode means it undergo oxidation reactions see the reaction oxidation reaction at anode hydrogen undergo oxidation forms 2h plus and 2 electrons if the potential of the coupled electrode is greater than zero if you coupled other electrode with uh, uh, more than zero uh, electrode potential then the standard hydrogen electrode acts as a anode and a connected electrode acts as a cathode the uh, hydrogen electrode undergoes oxidation it undergoes h2 forms 2h plus and 2 electrons if the potential of the coupled electrode is less than zero then standard hydrogen electrode acts as cathode the electrode reaction can be written as if the standard hydrogen electrode is potential is zero if you connected other electrode potential less than to this electrode electrode potential is less than compared with this one less means it contain minus one minus something value minus 1.0 minus 2.0 like okay now if compare this reduction potential values the this is less so it's access this is less it's access the anode this hydrogen electrode access cathode so at cathode reduction takes place so standard hydrogen electrode undergoes reduction 2h plus 2 electrons gives hydrogen gas the measurement of the zinc electrode potential using standard hydrogen electrode this is standard hydrogen electrode we have connected other uh, we want to know the zinc electrode potential so we have connected zinc electrode to this standard hydrogen electrode what is zinc electrode the zinc metal is dipped in zinc plus 2 solution or electrolyte solution this is the salt bridge the total set of connected to the voltmeter it give it give the value 0.76 volts means the cell potential is 0.76 volts already we know that e cell equal to reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode in this zinc access anode the standard hydrogen electrode access cathode so e cell equal to e h plus h2 this is cathode and minus e z plus 2 z this is anode we want to know the this electrode potential already we know e cell that uh, it gave 0 0.76 okay then we know standard hydrogen electrode potential is 0 then substitute 0 in place of e h plus h2 minus we want you don't know zinc plus 2 electrode potential so you have to calculate the zinc electrode potential the zinc, the zinc electrode potential become minus 0 0.76 volts by this way we can measure the zinc electrode potential by using standard hydrogen electrode the next calomel electrode what is calomel electrode calomel electrode is the mercury mercurous chloride electrode what is mercury chemical formula hg what is the mercury or uh, chemical formula hg2cl2 it is commonly used as secondary reference electrode it is mercurious electrode is as secondary reference electrode what is secondary reference electrode this reduction potential value is not zero but the it have some fixed amount of values that is we have to know it consists of thin layer of pure mercury is placed at the bottom of the container and it is converted with a paste of mercury mercurous chloride in calomel this is container this container at bottom contain mercury and this is the mercury chloride and mercury coating the remaining portion of the cell is filled with a solution of normal known concentration of kcl one molar solution saturated or saturated the remaining part this part is filled with one molar kcl or saturated kcl a platinum wire is sealed into a glass tube is dipped into mercury layer is used as provide external electric contact this is the glass tube in this platinum wire is dipped and this is inserted in this solution the electrode potential of saturated calomel electrode is 0.2412 if you take the kcl is saturated then the electrode calomel electrode potential is 0.2412 volts if the electrode potential is 1 molar calomel if you take one molar calomel then the electrode potential is 0 0.28 volts this is the cell representation of calomel electrode the calomel electrode can act as anode or cathode depending upon the nature of the another electrode to the connected to the cell 
calamo electrode connectors anode as well as cathode depends upon other electrode connected to it if the potential of the coupled electrode is greater than 0.24 volt then the calamo electrode as anode and the electrode reaction can be written as this is calamo electrode already we know this uh, still potential is 0.242 volts if we connect other electrode with higher value of potential means if you take 0.460 if compare these two this have more electrode potential so it acts as anode means calamo electrode acts as anode and this acts as cathode so it's undergo calamo electrode undergo oxidation it forms mercury forms mercury plus 2 and two electrons the mercury plus 2 reacts with chloride cl minus ions in kcl forms mercurous chloride the overall oxidation cell reaction is mercury reacts with 2 cl minus forms h mercurous chloride and two electrons this is the overall oxidation reaction for mercury calamo electrode calculation of oxidation cell potential of calamo electrode by using nernst equation by using nernst equation we can calculate the calamo electrode potential calamo oxidation cell potential overall oxidation cell reaction at anode already we have seen in the previous slide this is the overall oxidation cell reaction i wrote here this one according to nernst this is the uh, we want to find this is the oxidation potential of calamo electrode this e not c calamo electrode minus 0.059 divided by n n nothing but number of electrons involved in this reaction log of concentration of product divided by concentration of reactor this is obtained from nernst equation e c e not c e minus 0.059 n nothing but two electrons involved in this reaction log of concentration of product concentration of product is concentration of hg2 cl2 divided by concentration of reactants concentration of this one hg hg square concentration square cl minus square so these are solids so this this concentration we have taken as unity then remaining term is this then ec equal to e not ce minus 0 0.059 divided by 2 log of concentration of cl minus 2 then log of m minus nothing but minus n log n. then minus 2 become log of cl minus 2 become minus 2 log cl minus into minus plus then ece becomes e not ce into 0 0.059 these two these two get cancelled log of cl minus square the overall oxidation of, oxidation cell potential of calamo electrode depends upon concentration of chloride ions if the potential of the coupled electrode is less than 0 0.24 volts then the calamo electrode, uh, electrode acts as cathode the electrode reaction can be written as if this is the calamo electrode this cell potential is 0 0.242 already we know we have connected other electrode that is the deduction potential value is less than to this if you take minus 1.2 volts if you compare these two electrode potentials it has less value so it acts as anode this acts as cathode so calamo electrode undergoes reduction so h2 2 plus 2 ions take 2 electrons form mercury this mercury chloride also uh, divided into mercury ion and 2 Cl minus. The overall reduction cell reaction is mercury chloride takes 2 electrons from mercury and 2 Cl minus. The calculation of reduction cell potential of calamo electrode by using Nernst equation. The reduction potential of calamo electrode by using Nernst equation you can calculate. Overall reduction cell potential reaction can at cathode. This is the overall cell reaction at cathode. According to Nernst equation, ECE equal to E naught CE minus 0 0.059 divided by N log of product concentration by concentra reactant concentration. ECE equal to E naught CE minus 0 0.059 divided by 2, 2 nothing but number of electrons involved in this reaction. In this reaction, 2 electrons are involved. So, log of concentration of products. Concentration of products means Hg and 2 Cl minus. So, Hg square minus concentration of Cl minus Cl divided by concentration of reactants. What are the uh, reactants? These Hg to Cl2. So, already we know these are the solids. So, this concentration becomes 
unity. So remaining term is Cl minus x square term. So Ece equal to E naught Ce minus 0 0.059 divided by n log of Cl square. Ece equal to E naught Ce minus 0 0.059 divided by 2. This 2 becomes log of m power n becomes log n into log m. So 2 into log Cl minus. These two, these two get cancelled. So Ec equal to E naught Ce minus 0 0.059 591 into log of Cl minus square. The potential of calomel electrolysis depends on the concentration of Cl minus ions. The cell potential depends upon the concentration of Cl minus ions. Measurement of zinc electrode potential using calomel electrode. In the previous, we measured the zinc electrode potential by using standard hydrogen electrode. But in this case, by using zinc by using calomel electrode, you have to calculate the zinc electrode potential. This is the calomel electrode. This is the zinc electrode. Zinc electrode nothing but zinc metal rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution. Okay, we want to know the zinc electrode potential. The total cell reaction is one volts given. So already we know E cell equal to reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode E cell. The reduction potential cathode means here zinc electrode access anode and mercury uh, electrode access cathode. So this is the cathode and anode is zinc electrode. Already we know the calomel electrode potential is 0 0.24 volts. The total cell potential is 1 volts. We want to calculate the zinc electrode potential. So, uh, by we want to calculate this electrode potential. Then the zinc electrode potential obtained is minus 0 0.76 volts. This is the cell electrode potential of zinc electrode. We have measured the zinc electrode potential by using calomel electrode. Merits of calomel electrode. Concentration of Cl minus remains constant. In calomel electrode, always Cl minus concentration is remains constant. It will not change the concentration. Potential of electrode remains constant with the temperature. At particular temperature, it will show some particular uh, potential values. Ease of oxidation and reduction reactions. The oxidation and reduction reactions occur very easily. Construction is simple and easy to maintain. The calomel electrode construction is very easy and maintain, uh, very easy to maintain also. And it is inexpensive. The cost of uh, calomel electrode is very less. The pH can be measured by combining with the hydrogen or pinhydrogen glass electrodes. We can measure the pH of the uh, electrodes by using connecting hydrogen and kinohydrogen electrode to this calomel electrode. D minutes of this calomel electrode. KCL has to be replaced from time to time. We have to change the KCL time to time. Mercury is toxic. Mercury is toxic ions, so it poses healthy hazards. Then battery. What is battery? When two or more electrochemical cells are electrically interconnected, each of which containing two electrodes and electrolyte is called battery. What is battery? Battery can stuff two or more than two electrochemical cells. What is electrochemical cell? Electrochemical cells nothing but which convert the electric energy into chemical energy or chemical energy into electrical energy. Each electrochemical cell consists of one, two electrodes. One is anode and one is cathode and electrolyte solution. This type of, this is one electrochemical cell. If these electrochemical cells two are more than they connected, if they connected two are more than they connected, then this forms battery. What is battery? When two or more electrochemical cells are electrically interconnected, each of which containing two electrodes and electrolyte is called battery. Okay. Batteries are transferred into two categories depending upon the recharging capabilities. Based on the recharging capability, the batteries are two types. One is primary battery and second one is secondary batteries. What is meant by primary batteries? These are non-rechargeable and meant for single use and to be discharged discarded after use. These are non-rechargeable. What is primary battery? Primary battery is nothing but these are non-rechargeable and single use and after the use we can discard it. That is called primary batteries. 
these are non reversed less expensive often used in ordinary gadgets like torch lights and watches and ties primary batteries are non reachable uh, one time use only and discarded after use example lack lens cell or die cell what are the example for primary batteries lack lens cell or die cell comes under primary batteries what is secondary batteries these are rechargeable and are meant for multi cycle use means these are rechargeable you can recharge after using of this batteries and we can use multi per multi time multi times you can use this batteries after every use the electrochemical reaction could be reversed by the external application by external application of any external application we can recharge these things and we can use other time this is called secondary batteries example for secondary batteries are lead acid cell and nickel cadmium cell comes under secondary batteries lead lanthanide cell or di cell this is the example for primary cell di cell is cell without fluid component in this di cell we don't have any fluid component electrolyte is also electrolyte is also a uh, solid or moich moich based there is no liquid form this we that's why we call this lecclanche cell as di cell in this lecclanche cell anode is zinc and cathode is graphite rod or carbon rod in this electrolyte moich based of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride is as electrolyte the cell emf is 1.5 volts each battery give 1.5 volts di cell also called as zinc carbon cell di cell also called as zinc carbon cell di cell consists of a cylindrical zinc container which acts as anode see this is the uh, diagram for di cell this is the container this contain total container consists of zinc okay di cell consists of a cylindrical zinc this is cylindrical cell this contain this made up of with zinc it acts as anode a graphite rod is displaced in the center this is the graphite rod displaced in this cylindrical anode center the graphite rod does not touch the base axis cathode this cathode does not touch this anode this acts as a cathode the graphite rod is surrounded by powdered manganese dioxide and carbon this surrounding this surround this surrounding is filled with manganese oxide or carbon the remaining space in between cathode and anode in this the gap between this anode and this cathode filled with paste of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride means electrolyte solution you have to fill the remaining place between anode and cathode the graphite rod is fitted with metal cap and the cylinder is sealed with the top of with which the graphite rod that the top is sealed with metal cap and cylinder this total cylinder is uh, sealed with top with pitch this total is sealed the reaction takes place in the cell r what are the reaction are taking place in the di cell i have to see at anode zinc undergo oxidation it forms zinc plus 2 and two electrons at cathode first the at cathode the cathode is surrounded by manganese ox, manganese oxide so manganese it take in water and takes electrons forms mn2o3 and 2oh minus ions the overall cell reaction is zinc reacts with manganese dioxide in presence of water molecules it forms zinc plus 2 and manganese dioxide and 2oh minus here in the total cell reaction 2oh minus ions produced this 2oh minus reacts with ammonium chloride present in electrolyte solution forms ammonia gas and cl minus and 2h2o that in the total reaction ammonia gas is produced due to this reaction ammonia gas is evolves and disturb the current flow this ammonia gas disturb the current flow in dry cell this can be prevented by reaction with nh3 with zinc plus 2 to form complex electrolyte solution contain nh4 cl and zinc chloride the oh minus ions reacts with ammonium chloride forms ammonia gas this ammonia gas disturb the current flow so we have to stop this ammonia gas flow so this ammonia reacts with already zinc chloride present in the electrolyte solution this ammonia reacts with zinc chloride ammonia and cl minus 
zinc plus 2 and ammonia and two elements forms zinc NH3 to Cl2 metal complex diamino dichloro zinc. Then the zinc is bonded with the zinc and form zinc complex and the flow it allows the flow of current. The applications of this dicellar Leclanger cell. This can be used in toys, transistor radio, calculators and watches and hearing aids. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.